Hello, Lisa. What unnecessary things are you doing now? What? I thought you were calling me out of the blue, but what's going on all of a sudden? Emma said she's not coming to our housewarming party. You must be jealous that I built a new house, so you've been whispering things to Emma, haven't you? Whispering? I haven't said anything. You definitely must have said something unnecessary. It's absolutely unthinkable that Emma would refuse our invitation. I don't think that's the case. My name is Lisa, and I'm a working housewife who lives with my husband Noah and our adorable daughter Madison. Noah was originally a salaryman, but after his father passed away, he became the second-generation owner of a sushi restaurant. Eventually, when everything settled down, we got married and I moved here. We have many loyal customers who have been visiting since the previous generation, and our business is doing well, we're living happily. On this day, the shop was closed. Hey there, Madison Chan. Hey, Emma Chan. Welcome, Emma. Oh, isn't Jun Kuen with you? He's locked himself in his room again because of some urgent work. Speaking of, where's Noah? He's gone fishing with his buddies from the shopping district since the morning. He said he's gonna catch a big fish. I see. Oh, here's a souvenir. I bought cake. Oh, Emma, you shouldn't have gone to the trouble. It's no big deal. Besides, I can't come empty-handed when I have such a cute niece. Madison Chan, let's eat it together, okay? Yeah, thank you, Emma Chan. The visitor at our house is my younger sister, Emma. She said she had something she wanted to discuss, so as we had tea, I listened to what she had to say. Huh? A housewarming gift? For Lydia Chan? Yeah, but you know, it feels like, even if I go to Lydia Chan's housewarming, it's like what's the point? I want to find a way to decline gracefully. By the way, sis, did you not know about it? No, this is the first I'm hearing of the housewarming, and I haven't been invited. Well, seriously, then it feels even more like, what do you expect me to do if I'm the only one going? We have an older sister named Lydia. While she interacts normally with Emma, her attitude towards me is somehow different. Because of this, I've always had a hard time with my sister. Now that I think about it, even when I was marrying Noah. A sushi restaurant? What on earth do you gain from marrying into a place like that? Can you really make a living that way? I will make Lisa happy, I promise. Mom and Dad were really happy about it, you know? That's just for show, isn't it? It's just some old, run-down sushi place in the shopping district, right? Aren't you embarrassed to marry a poor tradesman who talks big about marriage? Hey, Lydia Chan, Parker San, that's quite enough of those rude comments. Both Noah and my late father-in-law are highly respectable sushi chefs. Don't belittle them like that. In this way, Lydia and her husband Parker have looked down on Noah and belittled him. Since then, we've had no contact with them, keeping our distance. That night. That's what the conversation was about. Emma didn't seem inclined to go either. If she went, it would probably just tire her out, having to be so careful with her words. Yeah. And knowing Lydia Chan, I'm worried she might try to take advantage of Emma. All the more reason not to go, then. It wouldn't be beneath Lydia and the others to do something like that. Hey, Daddy. What about the fish? Oh, I caught a big one. Show me, show me. Noah, having heard my story, also said that it would be better for Emma not to attend the housewarming party. A little while after that, one day. Huh, a call from Lydia Chan. Hello, hello. Hello, Lisa. What unnecessary things are you doing now? What? I thought you were calling me out of the blue, but what's going on all of a sudden? Emma said she's not coming to our housewarming party. You must be jealous that I built a new house, so you've been whispering things to Emma, haven't you? Whispering? I haven't said anything. You definitely must have said something unnecessary. It's absolutely unthinkable that Emma would refuse our invitation. I don't think that's the case. Emma and I are close sisters, so her not attending is weird, isn't it? Are you jealous of Lydia and Emma's relationship and told her not to attend? I wouldn't do anything like that. You've never been honest, have you? Are you so upset that you weren't invited? 
but if you fish-smelling folks came, our brand new house would be ruined by the smell. Is that so? But Lisa, you're still my sister. Even though I'm not inviting you to the housewarming party, you should send a congratulatory gift of 500,000 yen, so please wire it over. 500,000 yen? Of course. Since you worked behind the scenes to keep Emma away. Honestly, such underhanded tactics. I didn't do anything to Emma. You should at least think, I want to be helpful to Lydia, my big sister, at a time like this. Since it's a celebration for Parker and me, make sure to wire the money. You understand, right? Wire 500,000 yen for the housewarming gift. With that, Lydia and Parker hung up the phone. I was furious at their attitude, so I decided to put a plan into action. A few days later. Welcome. What's up, Lydia Chan? Why are you suddenly here? We're coming in. Hey! Why didn't you answer the phone? Isn't it rude to just show up at the shop? We're busy preparing. What's rude? We called several times and you kept ignoring us. What's going on? Nothing special? I didn't answer because I have nothing to talk about. It's rude to call repeatedly like that. Oh, if it isn't the poor businessman, Noah Cohen? The interior is quite upscale looking. If you have money for that, why not pay for our housewarming gift properly? Uh, our shop's interior has always looked like this. Neither my sister nor Parker San have ever been to the shop before, have you? Of course not I can't eat sushi made by poor people, it would smell fishy. And if acquaintances saw me coming out of a sushi place in a shopping district like this, I'd become a laughingstock in an instant. I think that way of thinking is what's really embarrassing and laughable, you know. Ha, huh, Emma. You're here too. What's wrong? Is there a rule against me being here? Ha, huh, so you've been cozying up to Emma like this. Don't tell me Emma-chan's been lured in by the sushi from a place like this, right? Ek, Lydia Chan and Parker Sen, you both don't know anything. What do you mean? Look, when you see this lovely interior, you should realize that this is a high-end sushi restaurant. Huh? High-end sushi restaurant? Noah Sen's restaurant is a super famous high-end sushi place where even celebrities dine in secret. Upon hearing Emma's words, Lydia and Parker, come to think of it, the name of this shop is Kosuka Sushi, right? Now that you mention it, yeah. But it must be a different place with the same name. It's the same, Lydia Chen. You've always been like this. You really looked down on Noah San when he was marrying your sister, saying, My sister's marrying into wealth, she's marrying into a rich family. That can't be true. How does a regular office worker end up meeting a high-end sushi shop owner, anyway? You see. Noah and I originally worked at the same company, and we've been dating since then. You never listen to anything. I don't mind if you call me Po or whatever, but I'll never forgive you for belittling the precious shop my father left me. Today will be the first and last time you step foot in this shop. You are banned from now on. What? Why are we banned? We're family, so we should be treated as regular customers. No way. Don't joke about having people like you as regulars. This is a wonderful shop that my dear father-in-law grew into a famous place in his lifetime. It's a culmination of hard work and love for the customers, a very special place he left behind. Noah protects it and puts his heart into making sushi for the customers every day. Well, in that case, we'll help you with advertising the shop. Yes. I can even put it on my Instagram if you want. That would be really embarrassing, Lydia Chen. Emma, when did you start siding with Lisa? Siding, I've always been good friends with my sister. And good friends with Madison too. Yay. Oh, is that you, Akane-chan? You've grown so much. It's not Akane, it's Madison. Getting the name wrong, that's really cringeworthy even for you. Lydia and Parker, who were looked at with cold eyes. It was just a little mistake, okay. Stop making a fuss over something so trivial. Can you please just leave? If we leave, we won't be able to come back to this shop again, will we? That's right, because you're banned. And apparently our place is an old, rundown sushi shop in the shopping district. If you stay too long, won't it make the newly built places look bad? I don't mind if you don't force yourselves, just leave quickly. Stop joking around. 
I'm Lisa and Emma's sister, you know? That means I'm your sister-in-law, Noah Kuhn, so you should treat me with more respect. I'm the brother-in-law, so I'm superior to you all? Superior. All you've done is turn code once you found out that my sister and Noah San are wealthy. That's not true at all. It is. You have that look on your face, like you want to eat high-end sushi for free at any chance you get. We can see right through what Lydia Chan is thinking, you know. What are you even saying, Lisa? When I eat, I'll pay properly, you know. Well, if you absolutely refuse to accept payment, I'll graciously let you treat me at that time. Don't worry. There's no sushi in this shop that we'd make for you too. Lisa, don't get too full of yourself, okay? I'm not. Unlike Lydia Chan and Parker San, Emma and I don't change our attitude just because we find out someone is rich. Ugh, enough. Just lift the ban, will you? That's right. You should be grateful that we're even saying we'll come to eat here. Lydia and Parker demanded the ban be lifted, but... There's no way I'm lifting the ban. You're causing a huge nuisance right now. It's clear as day that if you come here to eat, you'll bother the other customers. La, well, I can totally imagine that. That's not true despite how we look. We eat at quite fancy places, you know? So what? We're talking about manners here, aren't we? We can follow manners just fine. You just don't know it. That's definitely a lie. You'll just cause a lot of trouble. Oh, why would you think that? I wonder. Because, Andy, you smell super strong of perfume. And Uncle smells very strange from his head, too. Oh my. Madison Chan is still a child, so. It's only natural that she doesn't understand the elegance of this fragrance. My hair product is a luxury brand used by celebrities, you know? That doesn't matter at all. When you eat at a sushi restaurant, things like perfume and smells can bother other customers, so you have to be careful. Oh, is that so? But isn't it better to smell good? It'll make it hard to smell the sushi. That's why perfume is bad. Is that so? Are you kidding? This is basic common sense. Even at a conveyor belt sushi place, people would mind things like perfume and smells. That's irrelevant. We've understood the perfume part, so just lift the ban. No way. After all that mocking, you changed your attitude too quickly, making you even less trustworthy. Why don't you just give up and go home? What are you saying, Emma? Doe, that's right. I completely forgot to pass on a message. A message? It's not gonna be something like live with your parents, right? I refuse any troublesome stuff like that. Ah, uh, indeed. Upon hearing Lydia and Parker's words, Emma. Then this is perfect timing. I have a message from mom and dad. We're cutting ties with Lydia and Parker. We're disowning you, they said. What? Disowning? What on earth is this about? Why are you so surprised? You've been complaining about my family's home all this time. You just said that living together would be troublesome, and you refused. Well, I did say that, but... Ah. Uh... Hey! What's with you? Don't shout all of a sudden! Isn't this not the time to be surprised by such a thing? What do you mean? Parker San, you got your current job through our dad's connections, right? Even though your work attitude is too unserious, he looked the other way because you're Lydia Chan's husband. If we're cutting ties, doesn't that mean you won't be able to stay at the company either? Indeed. Maybe your father-in-law thought this was a good opportunity. It's because you didn't invite my sisters for the housewarming. Even when you come to the family home, you just lounge around with an arrogant attitude. Parents would get fed up, right? Even so, isn't cutting ties a bit too extreme? Right! They might be upset with us now, but they'll surely calm down. That's not happening. Our parents won't go back on their word. If only you had been sincere towards my sister and Noah San. They might have let you stay while you looked for a new place. That opportunity's long gone. A house. I won't settle for a cramped and uncomfortable room. You know, that big house built behind the shop. That's my sister's place, you know. What? That huge house. If you open that door over there, it connects to the house. You're lying. It's true. There are spare rooms, but none for Lydia Chan and you. 
I'm glad we've cut ties with you as well. Upon learning that they were being cut off by the family, Lydia and Parker. Being cut off is a problem. If I lose my job too. Come on, help me out. Please cancel the disownment. Impossible. You were the ones who rejected us first, right? Things turned out just the way you wanted, so isn't this a cause for celebration? That's right, you weren't working seriously in the first place, so you would have been fired eventually anyway. You can't be serious. Hey Lisa, will you go with me to our parents' house and try to persuade them? I have nothing to persuade them about. Just get out already. If you intend to keep squatting here, I'll call the police. Don't do that, please. Madison can make the phone call. Ah, uh, please don't. Then leave. Neither Lydia Chan nor Parker San are family anymore. You're banned from this shop. Don't ever come back. I might even talk to the chairman about banning you from this whole shopping district. Hey, you don't need to go that far. Why not hurry up and find a new place and job instead of clinging on? We'll apologize for belittling you. We won't make fun of you anymore, and we'll change our attitudes from now on. We don't need your apologies. It feels too late now, doesn't it? From now on, make do on your own strength. The exit is over there. Bye-bye, auntie and uncle. Afterward, Parker was fired from the company he entered through his father's connections and became unemployed. Lydia, who was a full-time housewife, always thought that they could rely on her parents if anything went wrong. With this naive idea, she spent almost all of Parker's income on herself and their outings. The little savings they had were wiped out by the mortgage on their newly built home, and even that became delinquent, forcing them to give up the house. They somehow found part-time jobs, but with nowhere to go back to but an internet cafe or a deserted park. They never managed to save any money. On the rare occasions when they had extra money, they stayed in business hotels. This way of living didn't last long, and they soon lost all motivation to work, ending up living outdoors. In the midst of this, a seemingly kind man gave them some money, providing momentary relief, but it turned out he was an outrageous loan shark, and they found themselves being chased daily. Thus, Lydia and Parker's spoiled lives and their tendency to look down on others led them to a miserable existence, constantly on the run from debt collectors. As for me, after that. So, you see, Jenkins' work is finally starting to calm down, so. Once it's over, could the two of us come here to eat? Of course. Emma Chan and Jinkin are always welcome. When Jinkin kill me, I want him to fix Papa's old smartphone. Bo, did it break? Well, the screen doesn't really respond anymore. Jinkin is tired, so don't ask him for too much, okay? It's okay, Madison Chan. Jinkin will fix it right away, so just wait a little longer. Okay. All right then, I'll prepare some extra special sushi for that occasion. Emma, as always, sometimes comes over to our house to play and spends time with Madison. Always wearing a smile, Emma seems even more cheerful than usual these days. The reason is that she's eagerly looking forward to spending some quality time with Jun Kuen soon. We're also good friends with Jun Kuen, so we're excited to see him again after so long. Having a family that you want to see is something that may seem ordinary, yet it's not something to take for granted. I'm filled with gratitude for this, and it reminds me to never forget to smile, no matter what the circumstances may be. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more great content. Just click on the subscribe button below, and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. See you in the next one.